Hey guys, thanks for coming to this tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're just going to be doing a really quick, it's going to be one of two parts, okay? And we're going to go over core data uh, in two quick videos and how to create something, read it, update it, and delete it. So the idea is just a really quick introduction, how to create, um, you know, very simple uh, entities. And we'll get into what an entity is, but essentially being, being able to create um, what well, my entity here is a potato. So I can just add a new potato. You can say oh, my new potato is going to be roasted. And I add it, and then if I kill this app and restart it, it's still there, okay? So it's persistent data and core data. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start a new project here, okay? And I'm going to make this one a single view app. I'm going to name it code tutorials underscore core data crud, okay? And crud stands for core uh, create, read, update, delete, okay? And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to name the same thing here. Core um, code tutorials underscore core data crud. All right. I'm going to create it inside there. Let's just go ahead and create the basic pieces. Okay. So inside of here, I'm going to start by creating a V stack. Okay. And inside of that, I'm going to put uh, one more V stack. And inside that VStack, I'm going to put my text field. So I don't really like making everything um, from scratch. I'd rather just grab it if I have the option. So text field, right? And I'm going to need a couple different variables up here. So we can kind of reference the other one I made, which we're going to need the list of all the potatoes. Okay. That's where we're going to make something that we can add new potatoes. Um, and then I'm going to create an, another state variable that will host uh, essentially the value, the bindable value of this text field. So right there, all right? And so I'm going to first one is going to be you, so you can name whatever you want, but you have to make sure it's of type NS manage object. Okay. And then new potato string is going to be equal to nothing at start. And then we're going to take this uh, text field here. Oh, and it doesn't know what um, that is because we need to import core data. So that's what that error was. So now this one right here, we need to attach this text field to the new potato string. Okay. So right now we should just see that text field. Okay, while that's getting going, I'm going to add some padding to it. Okay, I'm going to give it a padding of maybe 10. Okay, I'm going to give it a background of color dot init and white 0 0.9. Okay, um, actually, I'm going to I'm going to save that. I'm going to cut it because I'm going to use it in a second. But I actually meant to give it a background color of dot white. Okay, and then. Now that I gave it that background color, I'm going to go ahead and put a button underneath that. Okay. So now I have a button inside. I'm going to give that whole thing padding. Okay. And then I'm going to give that a background of that light gray. I'm going to give that padding as well, an external padding. So it looks like that. And lastly, a corner radius of 10. Okay. Might as well go ahead and give this inner one corner radius of five. Something like that. And that look, is looking a lot cleaner. Okay, and then I'm gonna make this one say, what is your favorite potato? All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and fold that code up and I'm gonna have a for each loop here. And inside that for each loop, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually run through every single item inside this NS managed con uh, man this array of NS managed objects. So you can see it's for each, I'm running through potatoes and I'm using .self as the ID. So I'll do the same thing here. I'm gonna say potatoes, that's what I'm running through. It's running through using .self. Okay, and then we'll access each item in there using this potato in. That's what we can use it inside this closure. Okay, and then what we need to do is we're gonna create a text and the text is it's so we can see what its string protocol is gonna be. We're gonna, Start by just even doing this. We'll say the text is going to be A. Okay. And we need to create two new functions now. So I'm going to fold up the code for the body. Okay. And actually, the first thing we need to do is we need to go over to our uh, code tutorial um, right here to the data model. I this data model essentially. And I, I should have said this from the very beginning, but the biggest thing you need to do, if you haven't done this, you might need to go back a little bit is you need to make sure you start this project up with core data, okay? So when you start a new project like this, you pick single view app and you choose use core data. So I apologize, I did not mention that at the beginning. 
But if you need to, go ahead and back, do that and just you know work your way back up here again, okay? So moving forward. So I need to go over to that data model, sorry. So here we are in the data model. And I need to create a new entity. So it's kind of like creating a new class or new structure, but there's your core data itself comes with its own lingo. So this entity, we're going to call it potato. Okay. And I'm going to give it an attribute and I'm going to give it an attribute of a string. Okay. And I'm going to call this the uh, string attribute. I can name it whatever I want. I could name it tomato if I wanted. All right. So I got but I do need to make sure that I give it uh, a type of, um, in the given case, we're gonna use a type of string, okay? But you can store whatever you want in here. So moving forward, we'll look back over here now. And personally, what I found is that sometimes I actually need to kill this application and restart it for it to start. Like if I wanna come here and say a new variable, like var, uh, blah, 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 and then I'm gonna say it's of type potato. It doesn't recognize that new type. So um, people told me try building it, try cleaning it. I personally have had no luck ever since upgrading my uh, Xcode, so I'm gonna go ahead and just close it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this. Kill, actually, I'm just gonna close this one project, okay? Now I'm gonna open it up again. It should be good to go, so. Now I should be able to say var of type potato. And it, already it's recognized that I have the potato from somewhere else, okay? So. I'm gonna create two new functions. One is add new potato and one is load potato. So add new potato is the C in crud. Okay, that's what that is. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna paste it and we're gonna talk about it. So the first thing we're doing is we're using guard let uh, app delegate equal and then UI application share delegate. And so essentially what this is doing is, is is it's letting us grab the app delegate. Okay, and if and if we're not able to do that, so it's saying you know try to do that. Else, if you're unable to do that, just return you know end function. But if we are able to keep going, then we need to set the manage context equal to the app delegate persistent container dot view context. Okay. And so this is essentially is what's storing um, our data. Okay. So now we are grabbing, um, we're essentially saying right here, this line is saying NS entity description. So we're saying what kind of uh, entities we're trying to grab. So we're trying to grab entities, you know, of type potato. So this right here needs to match up with right over here in our data model potato that needs to match up. Okay in manage context, so that's that. Okay, and now we're saying, let new potato equal a new NS manage object, okay? And we're going to insert this new entity, okay? We're gonna insert it into the manage context. Does that make sense? So, right here we're saying, create a new manage object of type entity, okay? And we need to set the value of the string attribute equal to the new potato string. So. I know there's a lot to digest, but like let's look, let's look over here. Remember, we have something called a potato it has an attribute called a uh, string attribute. But when we look over here, if we run through what all that's saying, okay, just so we don't get too confused, I'm gonna I'm gonna co I'm gonna comment this out really quick because we are gonna get back to that. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that too. So what this is saying is it's just saying this is essentially where we're gonna save it. Okay, this right here is what kind of entity we're gonna create. Here we're creating one new instance of it. Here we're setting the value of its property, string attribute, and we're gonna set it equal to whatever this bindable string was equal to, okay? And remember, this bindable string is also tied into the text field on the actual screen. So what that means is whatever is typed into that screen, when you click the button, you'll see, when you click the button underneath, we haven't set that yet, but when you click the, the this button right here, we're gonna make it so that whatever you put here will be the new potato string attribute, okay? That's what this is. And make sure you say dot wrapped value, okay? Otherwise, technically it's not a standard string that can get stored. You're gonna get an error if you just if you don't write dot wrapped value. Okay. And so for key path, make sure string attribute lines up with this word right here. Okay. And then it's gonna try to set it. So it's gonna say do try saving the managed context. And if you can, I, I put this for myself, print, save successfully, show me what you saved. And then if you couldn't, just say could not save. And that's the end of the function. So that alone will add it, okay? Doesn't mean we'll see the change for ourselves. We won't see that yet, but that alone will add it, okay? So now that we have the add function finished, okay, that's add new potato. Remember, that's from here to here, okay? Now let's look at the load potato function, okay? So the load potato function is right here. Load potato starts off the same way, app delegate, okay? 
Manage contact starts off the same way. Now we're setting a fetch request. So what are we fetching? We're creating a new fetch request of what type? All the entities with an uh, entity name of potato. So we're saying fetch all the potatoes. Everything inside of our core data model that look, that had that is of this type of entity. Okay. So we're saying once you fetch it, if possible, set the potatoes variable up here equal to those objects. And if you couldn't, then just tell me you couldn't fetch it. Okay. And big shout out to Ray Wenderlich because actually I got a lot of this information from Ray Wenderlich's website, uh, but it was for UI Kit. So I, I kind of took it over and brought it into Swift UI. So um, yeah, so that's the load, load potatoes function, okay? So what I'm gonna do, this that's it, it's literally just from here to here. And I'm gonna make sure that every time I save a new potato, I load all the potatoes again, I, I refresh myself, okay? So that's why I put that right here, okay? So now I'm gonna code fold my load potatoes function, okay? I'm gonna code fold my add new potato function, okay? And I'm just gonna go to this button right here and I'm gonna say, add new potato okay and when i add a new potato what am i going to do i'm going to execute the self dot add new potato function that's it why do i have to write self because we're in a closure all right so now i'm going to save it and i'm going to run it okay now i should run on my iphone 11 pro max simulator and this is the c and the r in crud this is the c technically this is what's doing c and this is what's doing r I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna say scalloped. Oh, that's interesting. Remember, we told it just show me A, right? We didn't tell it show me scalloped or the you know, actual value. So at least we know we have an entry because it, it put one of these because we have one entry, right? Now I can come here and say uh, roasted, right? It's only gonna say A every single time. But we do know right here, based on the debugger, we know that it did indeed save successfully, okay? So I'm gonna make one sm slight change here, okay? And then we'll be done. So what I used in the sample application when I was building this for the demo is now instead of putting a text that says A, I'm gonna say a text where it is equal to this potato as potato, okay? And it's going to, that's gonna be optional, okay? So it's going to, I'm gonna to try to grab the string attribute Okay, but this is an optional and needs something that's not optional, so I'll say, and if we can't manage to unwrap that, then just say potato string error. So this whole thing says, if possible, show me you know the actual string related to the potato, but if not, just tell me there was a potato string error. Okay, save it, run it, and if I notice that we didn't load it on start, because technically the first time load potatoes runs is when I add a new one, so I'm gonna come here and say, we had scalloped, we had roasted, I'm gonna say mashed. Boom, now we're good. So maybe the last thing we wanna do here is we just say, when this body loads, actually we'll say when the V stack loads, okay, dot on appear, what I wanna do on appear, I want to load potatoes. Okay, and that should take care of that. So the minute this thing loads, it's gonna to try to grab the potatoes. Boom, scalloped, roasted, mashed, and I can add to it too. I can say pureed. All right, there we go. All right, so uh, that takes care of the create, that takes care of the read. Now we just have an update and a delete. So I'll see you in the next video for update and delete together.